Okay, so I've been working on the uh, automation of uh, turning a locomotive on the turntable. And the first challenge is to get the locomotive to stop on the uh, turntable. And there's probably a number of ways in which to do that. But what I've chosen to do is use the current sense uh, mechanisms I've already got set up on various other places on the track. And basically, as the uh, locomotive approaches the turntable, I sense that he's on that track, and I slow it down a little bit. So as the uh, locomotive's approaching, and then as it reaches the turntable, as you'll see in a, a few seconds, I sense when all the uh, current's coming off the turntable, so I know the locomotive's on the turntable, and then I'll slow it down again, so this is my best running locomotive, so I'm running it really slow. And then I run it for a few more seconds, so the uh, trucks and everything are completely on the turntable. And then it stops, and then it pulls away. So um, I've also got on the, um, the controller that controls turning the turntable, I had two extra inputs. I have them connected to the... Uh, relays that I use to switch switches, exact same relays, and I use those relays instead of switch switches to basically act like a key press. So I engage, energize the relay and it's like the key's down and I release the relay and it's like the key up and I have two extra switches. So um, basically I've got that working so the uh, computer can control the uh, turntable and now probably one of the more challenging things is going to be to get the turntable to stop exactly at the right place and to index it so uh, the locomotive can leave the track uh, perfectly. Also the software on my Apple II I had to revise significantly. Uh, the timing system on that I was just using a delay loop um, for seconds. So basically it was a spin loop. Uh, basically the software was spinning for about a second and then every second it would come out of that and see where the locomotives were and everything like that. Well, that's not really sufficient uh, accuracy for stock, stopping a locomotive on the turntable. So I implemented an interrupt system timer so basically the timer interrupts 255 times a second and then every 255 times it increments the counter and I use that as a seconds counter. And so I can basically monitor the uh, seconds counter for anything that needs to be timed. Otherwise, I can just do things as I sense them and immediately sense uh, when the locomotive's here or there so that's what I've been doing. Um, so it's taken quite a bit of while to get the uh, Apple II software changed to be interrupt driven because the Apple II's interrupt system is pretty crude. Um, and I had some issues uh, getting all that figured out, but right now the system's running. Basically it's interrupting 256 times a second and uh, incrementing a counter. So I just have to monitor that counter and every time the counter increments, I know a second's elapsed. So anything I want to time, like if I want to have the locomotive run for a few extra seconds after it enters a block, or if I want it to wait for a certain number of seconds after it stopped, I, I just have to monitor that counter and count up the number of seconds. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm making progress. Uh, my next step is going to figure out how I can uh, figure out exactly when the uh, track is aligned. I'm going to have to figure out, uh, set up a switch. And basically I'm going to also use the same current sense thing I do there, except I can just sense the current when a switch is engaged. Um, and then the computer can sense that and uh, at that point it can stop the turntable, start and stop the turntable correctly. So that's what I've uh, been up to. Let's see if we can, uh, if this locomotive will stop three times in a row right on the turntable. I've had a few issues with it stalling out because it's moving so slow, but uh, 
that's just I probably haven't been using the turntable all that much so there it slows down right there continues and then it stops right on the turntable so this is working really good so I'm happy with this so next stop is rotating it and backing it off the turntable instead of going forward so hope you enjoyed the little update have a great day